Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing about chemistry of uh, nucleic acids and nucleotides. Uh, before going in detail about nucleic acids, it is mandatory to know about nucleotides, right? So, what are nucleotides? Like we have studied in carbohydrates, lipids and then proteins, the basic monomer units which making the polymer units, right? So, for example, carbohydrates, uh, monosaccharide units are the uh, monomer units to make a complex carbohydrate. Similarly, for lipids, simple complex and derived lipids are there, right? For proteins, amino acids are the uh, monomer units to make a polymer of peptide and then protein, right? Similarly, for nucleic acids, we do have uh, nucleotides, okay? They are the basic units for this nucleic acids. So, what are nucleic acids? Nucleic acids are the cell uh, organelles which are present in nucleus, okay? Like DNA, RNA, DNA is for cell regeneration and uh, RNA is for cell survival. That means RNA producing the proteins. So, we are all aware proteins have various functions, right? And how these proteins are synthesizing? They are synthesizing from the DNA via RNA formation, right? It is programmed one. So, right from the functions, uh, right from the uh, functions such as uh, hormones, enzymes, and uh, transport proteins, storage proteins, and immunoglobulins, all are protein in nature, right? So, for all these formation, there is absolute requirement of nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA. Without DNA, RNA, there is no cell regeneration. At the same time, there is no cell survival. So, the first three biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, for cell survival and for cell making, they do require. But for cell regeneration, at the same time, for cell survival, we do require nucleic acids. So, let us go through the chemistry of nucleic acid uh, with the headings, chemistry of nucleotides, right? So, what is a nucleotide? Okay, nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acids, okay? Nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acids and what and all uh, it composed of, okay? Nucleotide is made up of a nitrogenous base and a pentose sugar and one or more phosphate groups. So, based on the presence of number of phosphates, okay, that nucleotide has been named, okay. If it is a single uh, phosphate is there monophosphate, if it is two phosphates, diphosphate, if it is three phosphates, it is known as triphosphate, right. So, here in the picture, you can see here uh, the beautiful uh, diagrammatic representation of uh, DNA double helical structure. So, the color you can make out right, the thread, okay, the thread which is seen in the blue color, okay, which is made up of sugar and phosphate, okay. That means sugar and phosphate, they make backbone of DNA or RNA, okay. And the middle parts, the colored one like red, green, blue, okay, and the purple, so, they are nitrogen bases, okay, they are nitrogen bases, that means the nitrogen bases are the substances which are keeping the two strands together, okay, they are strongly holding the two strands of DNA together by hydrogen bonding. So, so these are the basic parts of nucleotides and then we will go one by one, okay, here in this uh, flow chart, you can see here the composition of nucleotides. They are made up of three parts. One is base, okay. Other one is sugar and phosphate. We will see what are the types of bases, what are the types of sugars, okay, involved in formation of nucleic acids, okay. And now, you see in this picture, nitrogen base, I have given example as adenine, okay. And the sugar, what type of sugar is used in making of these nucleotides that also we will study in detail okay and the phosphate group so basically these three substances makes a complete nucleotide okay and the types of your sugar and base varies based on the type of nucleic acid first we will come across with the right from sugars okay in the sugars what are they Sugars are nothing but carbohydrates. So, we have studied the classification of carbohydrates like uh, monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides, right? That way, in monosaccharides, okay, the classification again we have seen uh, based on the number of carbon atoms and uh, based on the functional group, right? 
So based on number of carbon atoms, we have triosis, tetrosis, pentosis, hexosis, right? Exactly the type of sugar which involved in nucleotide formation that is ribose. That means pentose sugar, okay? The main sugar which is useful in making nucleotide that is pentose. Example, what I can give for pentose sugar, ribose, okay? So how you define a nucleic acid like DNA or RNA, the full form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. So the type of sugar what is present in the nucleic acid you are pronouncing in the name itself deoxyribose okay and RNA ribonucleic acid okay what is the difference deoxyribose and the ribose okay see here in the sugars first I am showing the two sugar units okay ribose molecules only but here this ribose okay being a 5 carbon compound okay at the second carbon they as usual they are in the configuration they are having hydroxyl group okay so that makes ribose but in DNA the name deoxyribose okay at second carbon there is absence of oxygen so that's why deoxyribose okay that's why deoxyribose okay deoxyribose side at the second carbon there is no OH only H okay there is no OH there is only H Okay, you have to remove the oxy. That's why the name deoxyribose. So that is the prominent difference between DNA and RNA in respect to sugars. Okay, coming to nitrogen bases, we have two types of nitrogen bases. One is purine, other one is pyrimidine. Okay, based on the type of nucleic acid, okay, and their presence also varies. Okay, as we have two categories, purine and pyrimidine. Okay, purines are two in number. Okay. So what are purines? First, purines are heterocyclic uh, ring structures, okay, heterocyclic ring structures, okay. In purines, along with benzene ring, there is an imidazole ring attached to it, okay. The difference between purine and pyrimidine is, purine along with the benzene ring, it do carry a 5-membered imidazole ring, but pyrimidine, there is only a benzene ring, okay. That means pyridine ring, okay. Here, Purine is carrying along with the pyrimidine ring, there is imidazole ring. In uh, uh, pyrimidine, we have pyrimidine ring only. So coming to purines, so as I give an example, two purines are there, one is adenine, other one is guanine. And irrespective of the uh, like uh, type of nucleic acid, like whether it is a DNA, whether it is a RNA, two purines are absolute uh, requirement. Okay, without uh, these two, there is no DNA, there is no RNA. So that means in both DNA and RNA, adenine and guanine present. Okay, so coming to adenine, adenine is carrying an amino group at a sixth carbon. Okay, and guanine, it do carry a amino group in the second carbon. So that is a difference. Okay, there is a presence of amino group at sixth carbon in adenine. Okay, in guanine, there is presence of uh, amino group and the second carbon. Okay, and also uh, dioxy. Okay, that means there is a uh, presence of uh, what to say oxygen at the sixth carbon. Okay, coming to pyrimidines, pyrimidines are three in nature. Okay, cytosine, uracil, and thymine. Cytosine, uracil, and thymine. Cytosine, thymine are present in DNA. Okay. Uracil is absent in DNA. So, this is one of the significant difference. Okay, remember. Okay, in respect to pyrimidines, DNA carries only cytosine and thymine, but there is no uracil. This is reverse in case of RNA. RNA, they carry cytosine and uracil, but not thymine. Okay, thymine is restricted to DNA and uracil is restricted to RNA. So nomenclature and uh, of these you know, nucleotides and nucleosides. So first we know what are the difference uh, differences between nucleotides and nucleosides. Okay. So the main difference between nucleotide and nucleoside. Okay. Nucleoside is made up of base and sugar. Okay. Base and sugar. Nucleoside is made up of base and sugar. The bases like purines plus pyrimidines. Okay. And sugar ribose or deoxyribose. And Coming to nucleotides, uh, uh, along with the base and nitro, uh, base and sugar, we do have extra compound that is phosphate. Okay, when phosphate group added to nucleoside, okay, 
that nucleoside converted to nucleotide you see here in the picture nucleoside is carrying sugar okay and base when you are adding phosphate group okay this will be converting into nucleo uh, nucleotide nucleotide that means it is carrying phosphate it is carrying sugar it is carrying base and this nucleotide uh, varies okay in uh, dna there is a presence of uh, deoxy ribonucleotides okay in case of rna ribonucleotides so and this difference is based purely on type of sugar if deoxyribose okay then those nucleotides known as deoxyribonucleotides if the ribose then those nucleotides known as ribonucleotides and one uh, main the difference in thymine respect to the thymine okay the spelling you can you are you all aware thymine t h y m i n e thymine right so this is a base this is a base and in case of thymine what i have written here two thymines okay but there is difference in spelling t h y m i n e and t h i a m i n e thymine okay t h y m i n e this thymine is a nitrogenous base present in nucleic acids okay especially in dna okay but the other thymine t h i a m i n e thymine it is a b complex vitamin b1 okay this thymine is a b1 it is having a coenzyme okay uh, thymine coenzyme function in case of uh, enzyme complexes like pdh complex and uh, in case of uh, uh, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex there it has got uh, coenzyme functions so this difference you should aware and the naming and the next picture on the namings purines and pyrimidines based on the whether it is a nucleoside whether it is a nucleotide okay so based on that we have given and the number of phosphates so i have given this classification nucleoside in rna okay nucleoside that is carrying base and what it is carrying base and sugar right base and sugar it is carrying so in that instance that particular adenine okay which is carrying sugar is known as adenosine okay here the sugar is ribose i am talking about rna okay rna the nucleoside in rna known as adenosine in place i mean like in case of adenine and in case of guanine it is known as guanosine and in case of cytosine it is known as cytidine and we all know rna doesn't have thymine right so in place of thymine it has got uracil so it will be known as uridine and the same instant in case of deoxyribonucleic acids okay the nucleosides will be known as deoxyadenosine deoxyguanosine and deoxycytidine and we all know dna doesn't have uracil in place of that it is carrying thymine right so deoxythymidine so these are the nomenclatures of nucleosides both rna and uh, dna now coming to nucleotides in rna and dna so in rna okay the nucleotides named as adenylate guanylate cytidylate and uridylate okay in case of dna okay they are known as deoxyadenylate deoxyguanylate deoxycytidylate and deoxythymidylate now coming to the nucleotide triphosphates okay in nucleotide we are having only one right uh, nucleotide phosphates means there might be the presence of single phosphate there might be presence of two phosphate or three phosphates so based on the presence of number of phosphates there is a naming again okay if single phosphate group attached that nucleotide is known as nucleotide monophosphate so examples amp adenosine monophosphate guanosine monophosphate cytidylic acid and ump known as uridylic acid okay and nucleoside diphosphate two phosphate groups are there so adp gdp that means guanosine diphosphate and cdp 
cytidine diphosphate and uridine diphosphate and coming to the triphosphates nucleotide triphosphate atp gtp ctp and utp so all these have commercial uh, function okay atp gtp ctp utp right so other than uh, making of dna and rna this uh, gtp ctp utp they do have other functions we will discuss in detail okay but for making of dna okay we require deoxy form of nucleotides right so that's why in synthesis of dna we require dimp dadp datp dgmp dgtp dctp okay and dttp remember there is no presence of uracil in dna right 